welcome back. Elk season 2021. This season's going to be a lot different than uh, all of our previous seasons. The place we've been gone the last couple of years um, and even the places we've gone the last 15 years, they're all closed down due to fires. So we're going to an area um, never really hunted, never hunted elk there before ever. I don't really know if there even is any there. Um, have hunted deer and bear and, and turkey there, um, but only a very small area of it and the area we're able to go, again, because of restrictions, fire restrictions, is not an area I've ever been in before. So not overly optimistic for filling tags, but we can uh, hunt deer, elk, turkeys, and bear. Um, so we'll see, you know. Uh, always fun to go. Looking forward to that for sure. Got a long drive ahead of us. I gotta go pick up Ralph, uh, get his stuff loaded, and then we're on the way. So here we go, 2021 elk season. Hey, so this is the first update. I have to talk kind of quietly. Um, we've hiked probably a couple miles down a ridge, and um, up at the top we just ended up bushwhacking this really, really thick stuff, and it was just miserable. We got soaked. You see, I got my rain gear on. It rained all last night. Um, which is really good, but um, we're just soaked now. And we're in a really, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but a really good area. Um, whoa, sorry. Um, but it's so foggy, you can't see. And it just rained, it's still raining. Pretty quiet for things to get around. So this is the second time we've sat and just kind of waited. See if we could hear anything, see anything, and nothing yet. It's really cool being out here like this, but um, it's just hard seeing anything. Just morning one, so see what happens. Just gotta be patient. Well, we've been here about three hours, maybe a little bit more, and uh, all we've seen is a doe. We did take a nap for a little bit of that time. But uh, it's about three o'clock, a little, bit, a little bit after maybe now. And uh, we gotta start heading back up or we won't make it out before it's dark. And the top half of this was a nightmare, how brushy it was. So I'm kind of concerned about whether we have to go through that again or if we can find an alternative route. So we really don't wanna be trying to do that in the dark. I don't know that we even could. So. We're gonna head out. One doe, that's it. On to the next day. See what else happens.
Quick update, it's 3.30. We've been all over the place. Um, we didn't see anything this morning. Uh, we heard some turkeys gobble though, so that was pretty exciting. Um, we went in and tried to find where they're at. I'm pretty sure they're on private, but uh, went in to try to see if we could locate them. It was like noon when we did that. Everything had gone quiet. So we drove back to camp. We got the tree stand and what we needed to put that back up. Um, and then for the afternoon, we just took a drive into a new area that some guy had told us about. And uh, it was pretty much a bust, but we tried to take a road um, that was on the Onyx and, and it turned out to be like more of like a Jeep trail. But on our way out, uh, I'd looked over on private and there were like four or five turkeys, um, like 100, 150 yards out. So the landowner saw us driving on this road, so he came over on his ATV. He was a really nice guy. We talked to him for a little while, and I told him there's turkeys over there, and we were hunting turkeys, and he didn't offer, so obviously he didn't want us hunting there, but there's a little strip of forest service that boundaries his, uh, his property. So we just got back on the road, and I had seen that earlier, and drove back, pulled off on a turnout, and then hiked up in, and sure enough, we got you know, 500 yards up in here, and we saw those turkeys, and they were headed up through the trees. So we circled back around and busted our butts to get in front of them without getting busted, and it was so close. I mean, we had no time for anything. There was I, I, My phone right now is all that I have as far as a camera, because um, we thought we were just gonna kind of walk in, maybe call, and then probably walk back out. But um, uh, I got within 57 yards of them, and I was just waiting for him to take, you know, come another like seven, eight yards uh, and take a shot. And they didn't. They wouldn't come those extra yards and they turned around and took off and flew down the hill. Um, I, they may have seen us. I don't, I don't really know what happened. But in any case, um, it didn't look like they went very far. And so uh, we repositioned now and we're just going to sit here hoping that you know, they kind of forget what happened and they keep coming up this hill like they were. And we're here now, we're ahead of them. So um, we'll see what happens. Anyway, went from nothing to seven yards away from a shot. So we'll see what happens.
Good morning. It's morning three. Ralph went into the tree stand where I was last night. Saw that doe and fawn. And I stayed back at the truck and waited until I could hear some. See if I'd hear any turkeys. And I did. I heard some yelping. I haven't heard any gobbles. It's about uh, just before 7 o'clock. So I made my way through the timber to my best guess of where they are. Uh, but everything's gone silent now. So I don't know. That could be a bad thing. I don't know if somehow they busted me when I was trying to get in here. Or if they're just doing their normal thing right now. But this was the time that we heard the gobbles yesterday morning. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed, hoping we hear a gobble or I hear some more yelps or something to help me pinpoint where they're at. So I'm just going to be hanging out here until I hear something or possibly see something and then see what I need to do to get set up. Like I say, Ralph is at the tree stand, so he's supposed to text me if anything happens. And then we're going to meet back at the truck at about 10. So here we go. Day three. So it's three o'clock on the third day, Monday. We went to the tree stand this morning. Ralph sat in the tree stand. I went and looked for turkeys. Um, we saw a total of five deer. We think they were all does. There were three of them that were not 100% sure. We couldn't see their heads, but guessing they were all does. So. Now we're in a completely different area, and uh, sorry, I'm just watching stuff below me. <laughs> um, we're in a completely different area, and I'm still looking for turkeys. And uh, so I've got the shotgun. Ralph has got his bow. So depending on what we see, we would be covered. I might have to take a break here and look with my binoculars in a second but um, anyway we uh, hiked up on top of this ridge followed the ridge for ways it was pretty open on top a lot like what you see here um, and then we dropped down into this canyon where there's no roads or anything um, to access it and uh, so we figured you know not going to be a lot of people that have been in here and there's a creek at the bottom um, which is dry as it's been this year is a pretty big deal. And it's like year-round creek, so it's, it's flowing pretty good. Um, so Ralph's sitting there. I crossed it now, and I'm onto a new ridge, still looking for turkeys. I mean, with the water and the trees for roosting, and there's these, you know, open, open timber like this with the grass and the bugs and the grasshoppers, like... And not, I don't think a lot of people have been in here. Like, I would think that there'd be some turkeys in here below 3,000 feet. So, um, 
Just keeping my fingers crossed, but we got a long hike out of here. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but all the way back up there is where we have to go um, to get out of here. And it's pretty steep, so it's a thousand feet. Um, so we don't have our packs though, we just came in light, so that'll be one good thing about it. Still gonna be a bit of a haul, so I might go a little bit further down this ridge. I'm almost to the end of it. And I'm gonna sit here for a little bit and maybe something will walk through. And then we gotta start making our way out of here. Just wanted to give an update for the day. Fingers crossed. See if we can fill our first tag with something. Well, we're at the end of day three. And we're just sitting on some ridges. Got a few meadows that we can look at. Probably have about 10 minutes left. But uh, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but there's an amazing sunset going on behind me. Just a beautiful evening. And then the moon is uh, behind me over here. Don't know if you can see that either, but amazing views. Looks like we're going to close this day out with no tags punched. Hit it hard again tomorrow.